I got the Platinum Trophy in Red Dead Redemption 2 after 200 hours, and here are my tips for the most difficult and time-consuming trophies to save you countless hours of doing tedious, repetitive tasks and making your experience that much more bearable. Whether you've already completed the story or are just starting out, this is the way to avoid getting lumbago. Now the first thing you want to do is actually not for a trophy, but it's to make save slots along the way. Like, seriously. Try to do this at least every chapter, because I cannot stress how important this is because of the amount of missable things in this game. By making save slots you can go back to older chapters where you may have missed a thing or two. I made over 10 save slots in my playthrough and it actually saved me countless hours having to play chapters over and over again. Next there are 5 missable trophies. Starting off with the easiest, it's to rob 4 homesteads. You need to look for houses that are enterable and loot everything inside. Make sure to not shoot the owners if they are home and loot every corner of the house, because the trophy will only count if you have robbed everything inside. There is often a hidden area, for example under the chimney or in a basement that has the best loot available, but there are 7 homesteads you can rob so you shouldn't have to worry too much about this. And then we have the friends with benefits trophy. The gang's camp will move location throughout the story, so every time you're at a different campsite, walk up to a gang member and see if they want to do anything. It can be anything from fishing to table tennis and hunting, but do this at each campsite in chapter 3, 4 and 5 and the trophy will be yours. And this ties in with the errand boy trophy, where you need to deliver 5 items to the requested member. Sometimes these can be done during companion activities, hence why they go hand in hand. These items can either be found randomly throughout the world, at specific locations or bought inside the stores. It's a very simple trophy but also easy to miss if you don't focus on it. And whilst you're in and around the camp for these activities, make sure to donate $250 towards the tithing box. You have to do this before finishing chapter 4, as it will become unavailable after that. Items that hold value will also count towards the $250 needed. So do this in chapter 3 or 4 when you have a little money to spare. The most annoying missable trophy comes in with completing all optional honor missions. There are 28 you need to do, and most are locked in each chapter. 4 in chapter 2, 2 in chapter 3, 4 in chapter 4, and 7 in chapter 6. Some will carry over between chapters, which is why this can be missable if you don't start them early enough. There is one way to cheese the trophy if you choose to, and that is to complete the epilogue mission Home Improvement for Beginners. It for some reason pops the trophy. I don't think anyone understands why this happens, but it's worth giving it a shot before it's patched away. Then let's get into some of the trophies that put most people off of platinuming the game. And I'm of course talking about the studying and skinning every animal and getting the 70 gold medals. Studying and skinning every animal is going to take a while, there's no way around it. But if you start doing this at the very beginning in chapter 2, it should save you hours of looking for Herobrine to spawn. Hello. It's also good to know that chapter 5 doesn't count towards this trophy so don't worry about the animals there. And about the 70 gold medals, hopefully after finishing the entire story you'll have earned at least 15 to 20 gold medals from both main and side missions. Unlike in GTA 5, the difficulty comes in with the fact that you need to complete every objective in the requirement list in one single playthrough of each mission. I've linked the spreadsheet below in the description, courtesy of Acrios on PSM Profiles, who made a list of each mission's difficulty and time. With extra tips and strategy, this way you can choose which ones you feel comfortable with attempting and going for yourself. There's one more thing I want to go over before we go to the online trophies, and that trophy is the 100% completion. This basically requires you to go and find and do everything in the game, but specifically the challenges is what's worth going over. Do this from the start. I made the mistake of looking into this too late, and that cost me a lot of time. New challenges only unlock after completing the current one, so anything you may have already done won't carry over unless it's the next unlockable. Gambler is one really annoying one where you need to get exceptionally lucky for some. Therefore work on these throughout your playthrough to save as much time as you can. And then we have online. Online is probably one of the main reasons people decide not to platinum this game. But I think it took me around 40 hours to complete and it's actually not that bad and fairly decent if you stick with it. The three trophies you want to pay most attention to are reaching level 50, achieving three MVPs and successfully countering a rival posse mission. The latter you can actually do with a friend or boosting partner as it's quite difficult to do this naturally. Simply load into a server together and start a solo posse. Then let your friend start a mission as part of a different posse. Proceed to either interfere or kill the player during his mission for it to unlock, and that's already one trophy down. The next one is for the three MVPs, and this one was a really painful one for me, because it requires you to finish first in three separate matches. It's easiest to do this in races in my opinion, but other game modes are also possible. 
simply win three of these matches and the trophy is yours. And last but not least, it's reaching level 50. You'll be working towards this when unlocking all the other trophies. And the best tip I have for this is to become the collector role. Within the collector role, you'll need to collect tarot cards that refresh daily. But this is easily the most efficient way to level up. A full collection of 14 tarot cards nets you nearly 60,000 XP, which is an insane amount. I put a link in the description of an interactive map that lets you see all the daily updated collectible locations. Try to do a few daily challenges as well, as these can really ramp up your XP if you choose to do these every day. And if you feel really confident in your aim, you can even try playing without aim assist, which will grant you an additional 20 XP per kill. But all in all, this will take you around 4 or 5 days of fully grinding out online before you finally reach level 50. Those are the trophies you need to pay most attention to. Obviously, there are more trophies you need to do before you get the Platinum Trophy, but all of those miscellaneous trophies aren't too difficult and you have to focus on them individually. They're rather straightforward and can easily be done with the help of a trusted guide, because what this game really comes down to is just spreading everything out throughout your journey. Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the best games of all time, so don't let this experience of one Platinum Trophy deter you from how remarkable this game is. It's a generational game that has set the standard for open world games ever since, and nothing has come close. If you're feeling burned out on this game, give it a rest and come back later. There is no need to force yourself into frustration over a game that is otherwise beautiful in every way possible. If you have any other tips, tricks or questions, share them in the comments below. And if you thought this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more trophy tips and advice. And that's it. See ya.